Why keep a sketchbook? Why draw in it daily? How can we overcome our block when we see that fresh sketchbook in front of us? This is what today's video is about, but unlike other times, we will start in the world of a writer. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So I read this book by Norwegian writer Thomas Espedal recently. And um, you might think, what does that have to do with drawing? Well, there's a passage in this book that I find very interesting. It's about Thomas Espedal's way of keeping his notebooks, which I find very valuable in relationship to drawing. I try to keep a sketchbook wherever I go uh, and draw in it on a daily basis. And there's a passage in this book here that reminded me of that and reminded me of the importance of doing just that to draw in your sketchbook daily. And now I'll read the passage to you. Quote, I have written 11 novels and I have filled more than 40 notebooks. I consider them as books in their own right. 40 books with notes, sketches, diary entries, drawings and letters. I do not have the numbers of how many pages there are in the notebooks, these black bound booklets where I fill the days with contents. So what is my most important work? Is it the novels or is it the notebooks? End quote. And here comes the thing that I think is a really interesting quote. I think it's the notebooks. It's the notebooks that keep the daily writing maintained, that develops my language so that I always write every day, all sorts of places. I apply my writing a new day, a new place, or the same place, day after day. I try to write as fast as possible and as direct as possible, without considering whether what I write is good or bad, without correcting or erasing, without thinking whether it will be read. And this is where I achieve an absolutely necessary freedom. I can write whatever I want. If I only wrote novels, this freedom would wither and my writing would stop and my language would cease. I would be finished as a writer. That I am sure of." End quote. So I think that you know where I'm getting at and I think that his way of thinking about his notebooks, we can use that and apply it to drawing as well. I often hear about people having a block or even some sort of anxiety towards starting that new fresh blank page of a sketchbook. And I think this is because they think too much, therefore imprisoning themselves, stopping them from developing and uh, just draw. Therefore, my tip to keep a sketchbook is to embrace Thomas Espedal's way of thinking about his notebooks. And if necessary, you can buy like the cheapest notebook that you can find and buy the cheapest pencil that you can find. So to sum up the parallel to Thomas Espedal's way of notebooks, draw as fast and as direct you can, draw every day, draw everywhere you go, and draw the same places also. Don't think about that you have to end up with a glossy and perfect sketchbook with pages just filled with perfect drawings. Instead, just think of it as a thing that no one will eventually see and just draw in it and be free. I think chances are high that this way of keeping a sketchbook will take your art to places that you haven't dreamed of. Thank you for watching and until next time, have fun drawing and not thinking. Kasper var en temmelig artig dreng, 